I remember the first time I fell in love with a boy. It was the summer of 1985 on a roller coaster in Panama City Beach, Florida. Salty air, cotton candy, and airbrushed sunsets will always scream romance for me. I was around 14, the same age as Charlie and Nick in Heartstopper. I was warned by a younger critic that Heartstopper may not be written for me, my particular demographic, daddies. So does Heartstopper lean too far into tween romance and comedy for a daddy like me? I'll paraphrase Heartstopper executive producer Patrick Walters. Heartstopper celebrates the individuality of queer kids, promotes acceptance, and above all puts a smile on your face. What gay daddy wouldn't love that? For my generation, for the most part, uh, Morris may be the exception, um, a qu queer love stories always follow a similar pattern. Boy meets boy, boys fall in love, somebody dies. Um, Heartstopper would have changed my life if I had seen this in high school. In my teen years, I hid my sexuality like a lot of my generation, and being closeted uh, affected every aspect of my life. I also cannot underestimate the significance of Heartstopper as an effective antidote to all of the venom being spewed at LGBTQ kids today. There is also a surprise performance by an Oscar-winning actress as one of the boys' mothers that forced me to hit the pause button. I did a double take and the tears flowed. I could not believe this Oscar-winning actress took the time to appear in a very small supporting role, clearly to support the LGBTQ community. Her work here is the kind of loving support that LGBTQ kids deserve. Watching the parents and teachers in this series support their LGBTQ children brought tears to my eyes on multiple occasions. Heartstopper is the answer to my prayer, a truly magical, whimsical LGBTQ romantic comedy that does not totally ignore our mental health issues. Heartstopper is an eight episode series that originated as a Tumblr webcomic um, created by UK writer and illustrator Alice Osman. Um, in a truly wonderful collaboration, Euros Lynn, the director of all eight episodes, beautifully and simplistically translates the webcomic to the screen. The series centers on Charlie, who is an out gay student at an English boys school. He's in a dead end romance with a very cute closeted boy with some anger management issues. Uh, so as the only out boy in school, Charlie doesn't believe he'll ever find true love until one day when he's assigned to sit next to Nick, um, a rugby player a year older than him. Uh, in the beginning, Charlie and Nick appear to be total opposites. Charlie uh, lunches with the kids that teeter on the edge of being outcast, while Nick is a popular rugby player whom everyone likes. And Nick is seemingly straight. And that's what's at the heart of the series. Will Nick be able to accept himself and love Charlie back? Joe Locke and Kit Connor are perfect in the roles. Uh, with wonderful chemistry, Connor has had roles in HBO's His Dark Materials, while this is Locke's debut and all the supporting actors are perfectly cast. William Gow as Tal, Toby Donovan as Isaac, Yasmin Finney as Elle, Karina Brown as Tara, Kizzy Edgel as Darcy, she has some great retorts, Sebastian Croft as Ben, Rhea Norwood as Imogene, Fizio Ekinade as Charlie's protective LGBTQ art teacher, and especially Jenny Walzer as Charlie's sardonic sister, Tori, who shows up slurping sodas and offering life advice. Um, with all these amazing, well-developed supporting characters, um, whose secrets slowly reveal themselves, I'm very much looking forward to season two. This show has room to grow. The half hour episodes are a perfect length and pace. Heartstopper is visually unique, finding whimsical, witty ways to bring first love to the screen that ring true. All of the comic book touches are enduring. The floating leaves and butterflies signaling love made me smile every time. And the electricity produced when Charlie and Nick hold hands felt exactly like the time I held hands with my first boyfriend. Uh, split screen conversations are separated by a white comic book style border illustrating further the gaps in our ability to connect with one another and the dialogue is extraordinarily witty. Every episode I laughed and my heart fluttered. Heartstopper is a perfect LGBTQ romantic comedy. I give Heartstopper five stars. The answer to my prayers, um, it's the series I wish I had had as a teen. Heartstopper is a must-see uh, for the whole family. All right, y'all, until next time, always remember, living well is the best revenge.